Well, look who's here. Hello. What's wrong? Nothing. I'd rather not talk about it. Well, you're going to, especially if it involves me, does it? Only indirectly. Look, it's really nothing. Come in here. Okay, what is it? Something my dear brother said? No, no, it has nothing to do with Thorne. Then there's only one other person, your father. That man is determined to lock horns with me. What did he say now? Ridge, it doesn't even matter. Look, I am trying my best to keep out of his way. I just wish he would do the same for me. Would you please calm down? It's bad enough that I have to hear it from him. I'm sorry. What's his beef? You know, it's the same old thing. I mentioned to him that we're taking you out for your birthday, and he goes crazy. What does he think? I'm going to attack you and Brooke and Thorne go into the restroom? Something like that. Well, he must think I have absolutely no principles at all. Well, it isn't without a vague foundation, Rich. My one night stand in that damn hotel room right before we were getting married. When we were supposed to get married. Well, my father doesn't forget. Have you? That all seems very distant to me now. I like a dream I once had. Then you've forgiven me for that. I don't really think about it now. Good. Good. Then that solves the last remaining problem. To you coming and working here and accepting my job offer. Well, you're right. It's time that I made a decision. And that's what I want to hear. I have big plans, Caroline. And I want you aboard. I think you and I could work very well together. Well, strangely enough, I think you may be right. I'll let you know in a few days. Okay. I'll see you tonight. Birthday. 